Have you been in a situation where um, you feel like you've been beaten off? You know, um, I for one have had an experience where, you know, people just summarize you and say, ah, <laughs> this is the limit at which he can go. You know, this is the level he, he can attain because maybe he doesn't have um, what is common to everyone. Maybe he doesn't have what um, the spectacular people have, you know, and you know, men have that tendency to want to write you off. So I, I came with a message, a very short message, that says don't write off anybody. Don't write off anyone, especially anyone who has the life of Christ in them. The Bible says Christ in us the hope of glory. No one is useless. In the book of in the book of John, chapter one, verse forty-six, and I tell myself to him. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, come and see. You know, Jesus was one very obvious example. And you know, people wrote him off and you know, they didn't think anything good would come out of him, especially because he was born in the manger. Second of all, he was born to a carpenter for that. And so they wrote him off and they felt nothing good would come out of him. But what happened? He became the savior of the world. Till tomorrow, he's the greatest personality that has ever stepped his foot on earth. You need to realize that you can never ever write off any man who has life in him. No matter who he is, no matter who she is. Don't fall for that trick. Don't fall for that temptation of writing off anybody or looking down on people. Or saying, ah, this one cannot amount to anything. I give him three years. You know, people have that that ability, that that supernatural ability of giving people time frame. Say, ah, I give him three years, four years time tops. You know, don't write off anybody. Don't write off the gate man, the, the the house girl, you know, the housekeeper, anyone around you. You know, even those who must have done well before, and all of a sudden you see them not, you know, doing so well anymore. Don't write them off. They may not be the brave of the moment, but so far as that man, that woman has life in him, you can never tell what God can do with him. God has a way of announcing himself. God has a way of making his name known from the littleness of situation, circumstances, and from the, you know, unassuming people. Never fall for the temptation of writing off anybody. Never fall for that temptation. I used to be one who, um, I didn't have the best of talents from my background. I didn't come from the best of backgrounds and I didn't go to the best of schools. But, you know, imagine those who wrote me off some years ago. So this is a lesson. And this is something that we should look into as believers. Never write off anybody. So far as a man has life in him and has Jesus as his chief cornerstone, you can never ever write him off. All right. So have this at the back of your mind. Honor everyone you see. Everyone is important. Everyone is significant. Everyone has a role to play in God's revival plan. All right. God bless you. My name is Minsa Jane. See you when I see you.